I thought I took good care of my teeth, but apparently I just, uh, they, my original teeth didn't last. The American College of Prostodontists has released the first set of clinical practice guidelines for restored teeth. These guidelines are based on 10 years of scientific evidence. Guidelines include regular brushing and flossing, proper cleaning techniques, and seeing a dental professional at least every six months. So you've been following the at-home maintenance protocol we had for you? Twice a day I brush with a high fluoride toothpaste and I use a water pick flosser and use a prescription mouthwash. That's it. I do that in the morning and then before bed. There's a really interesting study that looked at patients who follow these guidelines and patients who did not. And those who did not, there was a 90% increase in failure rates of their implants. That's huge and quite significant. Although there is a lot of emphasis on the cosmetic benefits of implants, crowns, and veneers, prostodontists, the specialist in this area, are teaching us that good oral health contributes to overall health. Recent studies show that 120 million Americans are missing at least one tooth, and many even more than that. I think I was reluctant to smile a lot of times, and uh, so I seemed kind of like not very friendly. First night after I got the, the restorations were finished, and uh, we went out, my husband and I went out, and a woman came up to me and told me I had a beautiful smile, and it was, the, it was wonderful. These principles, these guidelines, these checklists, really make an impact to our patients and of their health and telling our patients it's not about us, it's about you and how well we can maintain you and take care of you. For more information and a full list of these guidelines, go to gotoapro.org.